Guys, you are in for an absolute treat today because I'm going to talk about 10 sexy close encounter fragrances. And this is the Valentine's Day edition, so I'm going to be really talking about fragrances that feature two notes that I think are perfect for Valentine's Day, you know, date night type situations. And they're going to feature notes of rose and chocolate. I think those is two notes, that's what Valentine's Day is all about. But I'm more excited about the fact that I'm also going to be giving you guys three different outfit ideas or telling you guys how you should dress on a date. Man, this is going to be dope. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What's up, guys? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This is the fashion and fragrance related channel, and I'm giving you both today fashion and fragrance. So if you like fashion and fragrance, I hope you guys won't mind hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Like I said, guys, we're focusing on both fashion and fragrance today. So if you're going to be going out on that hot date, I'm going to get you completely squared away because I'm going to tell you what fragrance you need to wear, but I'm also going to tell you or give you some outfit ideas that are great for a close encounter date night, especially one on the love day, which is Valentine's Day. Guys, when going out on a date, I think there's three really different levels that you kind of dress for. Number one, you dress for something that's a little bit more upscale, all right? So my wife and I actually went out twice uh, this Valentine's Day weekend, and um, the second place that we went to was a nice steakhouse in Charlotte, all right? It's called Morton's, and uh, it's got more of a classy, kind of an upscale vibe. So I have three fragrances. Yeah, I have three fragrances that I think are perfectly for Valentine's Day in a more of an upscale type of environment. Now, I also have four fragrances on this list that are a little bit more for a, what I would call smart casual. Um, we went out on the first night, we went to one of our favorite places. It's called a melting pot. It's really sexy, really intimate environment. They have very low lighting uh, there. And if you've never been to a melting pot or you don't have one where you're located, um, it's the perfect place to take a, a date for Valentine's Day because it's a really intimate thing. Not only the lighting and the setting, but also you guys are cooking your food. Um, they bring you out different cooking styles. You have a fondue, you have a, a, your cheese fondue, which is the first thing that you do. And then you have your, your, your main courses and then your, you know, like I said, your fondue, your sweet um, desserts. But it's, it's an amazing spot. And for that type of setting, you want to go more smart, casual. So I'm going to show you four fragrances to wear in that situation, as well as give you an outfit idea. And last but not least, I have three for more of a casual setting. This is where you want to do a nice pair of jeans, a nice blazer. And I have three fragrances that I think would fit that type of setting as well. So I'm excited about it. I'm going to shut up and get out of the way. So coming up after the intro, 10 great close encounter fragrances to wear, especially for Valentine's Day, as well as some outfit ideas. So if you want to see what's on the list, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video, man. I'm so excited about this, so let's just get to it. So if you're going someplace where it's going to be a little bit more upscale, right? Like I said, we went to a nice steakhouse, classy environment, a little bit more of an upscale feel to it. So I've got three recommendations for you. This first one comes from the house of Bodicea, the Victorious, and this fragrance is called Ardent. This is ardent. And my gosh, fellas, is this fragrance sexy and Valentine's Day appropriate? Oh my gosh. If you've never smelled, if you've ever smelled, I'm sorry, Noir de Noir from Tom Ford, this is very similar to Noir de Noir, but this has this very sexy, honey-like beeswax uh, note in here. And it just really takes that whole scent DNA, to, in my opinion, to another level of sexy and seductive. But it will pair really, really well uh, with the type of ensemble that I'm going to show you guys in just a few moments. So this is one uh, that I would recommend for Valentine's Day, Close Encounter, more of a upscale type of setting. 
from the House of Boulder City, Victorious. Again, this one is called Ardent. All right, this next fragrance is a, definitely a sophisticated rose fragrance, and that's why I would definitely pair it with a little bit more of an upscale setting. It's from the House of Fragrance Du Bois, and this one is called Siberian Rose. Siberian Rose, and guys, listen, this is a very unique, there's a unique factor to this one. You know, now it opens up with pear, very juicy pear with cinnamon. All right, you get this slightly fresh, almost rosy nuance from pink pepper as well in the opening. Uh, but of course you have rose in this and when it dries down, uh, you get some patchouli in here. Oh man, this is such a good fragrance for a sophisticated upscale environment uh, on a date night. So check this one out, guys. It's from the House of Fragrance Dubois. This is called Siberian Rose. All right, and last but not least, this was actually my scent of the night when I actually went out to uh, the, the steakhouse. Uh, when we went to Morton's, I wore this one right here from MFK, Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood. And in my humble opinion, guys, when you're talking about a date night, especially if you're dressed to impress, you really cannot go wrong with Oud Satin Mood. And of course, it's all in the name. You have Oud, some saffron. Obviously, you have Bulgarian rose. Um, and I think there is another variety of rose, Turkish rose, if I'm not mistaken. Dynamite. Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. The missus complimented me all night, although she smelled this on me plenty of times. She gave me quite a few compliments uh, and told me that I smelled good when I rocked this one. So from the house of MFK, again, this one is called Oud Satin Mood. Now, really quick, guys, let me show you what is a great outfit idea if you're going to a little bit more of an upscale environment all right guys so for this first look i'm gonna went with a turtleneck um, now this is a thinner material and you'll see that the uh theme of this list is going to be turtlenecks they're so easy to style and uh, a thinner material because i wanted to tuck it in um i have some louis vuitton loafers uh, to accompany this look with the matching louis vuitton belt which you'll see in a moment and um like i said guys with the turtlenecks man just e so easy to style these and as you can see again, the Louis Vuitton belt to match. So I knew I was going to be tucking uh, the shirt in. So I wanted to go with a thinner material. Now you can't do this with a uh, a thicker, uh, like a, a, a sweater that is a thinner, thicker material, because of course you can't tuck that in. But so I got this one from Ralph Lauren. Um, I also threw in a uh, pocket square to match the. Uh, turtleneck from Tom Ford so you can see those accents to kind of pull that in uh, that maroon color which is perfect for Valentine's Day and uh, of course guys another quick little tip always make sure that you have a shoe horn when you are putting on your shoes uh, as you can see I'm doing that here uh, but this is just a nice really sleek look now the suit this one is from Indochino and it is a slim fit suit now, typically, I wear uh, suits from Spear and McKay that are a lot uh, more of a contemporary style, a little bit looser fit. But when you're going for a kind of a more sexy look on a date night, you want to go with a slimmer fit suit. They look better, in my humble opinion, uh, when you are uh, going out on a date night. Uh, so, again, guys, matching belt, uh, matching the uh, Louis Vuitton loafers that I'm wearing. And like I said... I, in any situation where you're going on a date night, a slimmer cut suit is going to look better. Now, of course, you can see I have on socks, but they're no-show socks. Anytime I wear loafers and want to go for that sleek look, um, of course, I want to go with no-show no show socks. But overall, man, just a really nice sleek look, you know, for a nice kind of upscale environment. I uh, really can't beat uh, this look. And I will tell you guys, of course, I was the best dressed guy in the room that night. All right, guys, so if you're going to be going to a place that requires more of a smart, casual look, uh, meaning you don't have to necessarily be upscale, but you can't wear jeans. And uh, that's how we classify the first place that we went on Friday night. We went to a place called a melting pot. Again, I've already kind of told you, very intimate, low lights um, in the whole nine, but not really a place where you would necessarily wear jeans. Um, again, more of a smart, casual look. So I got four fragrances that I think will be great for that that fits the Valentine's Day theme that I'm going with here. And this is uh, from the house of Amwaj. This is Lyric Man. Now this is a fresher rose fragrance because you're gonna get that lime in the top of this, um, of this one. 
with the rose. And of course, it's really about that in the incense um, as it dries down. One of my favorite rose fragrances, like I said, this one got me into the note of rose. I started really loving the note by smelling this fragrance. There's some galbanum in here as well. This stuff is absolutely dynamite. So I think it pairs well with what I'm gonna show you guys in a moment. Nice for smart casual. From the house of Unwash, again, this is called Lyric Man. If you put sexy and seductive fragrance in the dictionary, you may find a picture of this fragrance. It's from the house of Kimmy Blended Magic. This is Aurum. And I've talked a lot about this fragrance. Now, this is a little bit more, uh, like I said, not quite upscale, but more of a smart casual. I think it's perfect for that. Primarily here, you're gonna get strawberries and chocolate. Oh my God. It's such a photorealistic smell of chocolate. Uh, with this fragrance and strawberry, and I love it. Perfect for, um, like I said, a setting where you're gonna be, have to dress more smart casual. Guys, check this one out. From the house of Kimmy Blending Magic, this is called R. All right, this next fragrance again, a little bit more playful than the, the first uh, group of fragrances that I talked about. That's why I think smart casual is a perfect place for it. From the house of Parfum de Marley, this is Hobden. This is called Hobden. Now, what you're really gonna get with Hobden um, is a fragrance where you're gonna get apple in the top, you get some caramel. And um, I've always said this kind of smells like a candy apple. Uh, you know, if you've been to the fair and you had a candy apple, of course you have the apple, you have the nice sweet glaze uh, on it as well as maybe like almonds or something like that, or um, nuts on it. That's exactly what this fragrance smells like. And of course you have rose, obviously. And it is the perfect fragrance. Oh my gosh, for Valentine's Day, very sensual. Uh, fragrance as well, but I think it works perfectly uh, in that type setting. So check it out from the House of Parfums de Marley. Again, this is called Hobden. All right, guys, the last fragrance in this category is really too good. It's from the House of BDK Parfums, and this one is called Tabac Rose. Tabac Rose, and obviously you're gonna get some rose in here, but in addition to the rose, man, you get chocolate, You get chocolate in this as well. You get rose. You have plum in here. So plum, very sensual, uh, very seductive uh, fruit note uh, that you get in this one. And it's just phenomenal, man. I, I can't say enough good things about this fragrance. Um, I think there's some, some tobacco on here as well. It's just super duper sexy. And if you're going out on a date, they're definitely going to know that you stepped in the building when you put this thing right here on it is perfect for a close encounter it's from the house of bdk parfums and this one is called tobacco rolls all right guys so let me give you guys a really nice outfit idea to wear in a more smart casual setting all right guys so for your smart casual look i went with a black turtleneck uh this one is from express now this is a lot thicker material uh, than the first one that i wore um, of course, I have on a black band, a watch um, from Seiko. Uh, the shoes, I went with uh, these um, chucker boots right here from YSL, uh, which is really nice. They're suede, which, which looks really good um, this time of the year. And I love them because they give me a little bit more height, too. They got like two-inch heels on those uh, boots from YSL. Uh, now, guys, you always want to match your leather. So you saw I had on a leather, black leather uh, band on my watch. I have on a black belt and black shoes. I don't care what anybody says. Always match your belt and your shoes. Um, I paired this look, this all black look, with a uh, houndstooth trucker jacket from Express. Uh, just a really nice accent uh, to this style. Um, now the pants that I am wearing actually is from Express as well. Uh, they have a little bit of a higher cut uh, on these pants. Uh, and a little bit more of a wider leg, but that I wanted that to rock it that way because, of course, I'm wearing boots. All right, so I want the pants to be able to fit over my boots. Um, so again, just a really nice look. Now, when guys talk about wearing kind of a bad boy fragrance, this is the kind of look that I envision. Um, again, black um, chucker boots from YSL. You have only black slacks from Express. Uh, the turtleneck as well as the uh, houndstooth jacket is from Express as well. So again, just a really nice look. Uh, again, smart casual. Uh, it's a good meeting between wearing jeans and of course wearing a suit. 
and it just looks fantastic, man. All right, guys, and last but not least, this last category, this is more casual, okay? This is gonna be an environment, maybe a, a nice, just a, maybe let's say you're going to like maybe an Outback Steakhouse and maybe to a movie or something like that for Valentine's Day. A little bit more of a casual type setting where jeans are allowed. Um, these, I'm gonna give you, of course, a look that I think is perfect, but also three fragrances. Now, the first one is from a uh, indie brand called Malik uh, Perfumes. And um, this guy has done a, a, a catalog of fragrances that are really unique and outstanding. And uh, this fragrance is called Very Cherry Rose. Very Cherry Rose. And um, what is in here is in the name of the fragrance. Obviously, you have cherry, uh, a cherry accord in here. You have rose, you have chocolate, and you have patchouli. Again, it's a little bit more of a novelty scent from that standpoint. So I think uh, a setting like that, this fragrance right here is going to work great. Uh, on a date, of course, if you're going to go to like a movie or something like that, it's still kind of close. You know, you're still definitely getting close there. And this kind of fragrance is going to get the job done, man. Again, it's from the indie brand Malik Perfumes. This one is called Very Cherry Chocolate. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance comes from the house of By Killian, And I've talked a lot about it before. And this fragrance smells like it's chocolate. It smells like a Tootsie Roll in a bottle. And this one's called Noir Aphrodisiac. Noir Aphrodisiac. Now this one may be a little bit harder to find. Um, Killian, uh, he is, besides Tom Ford, he's the king of discontinuing fragrances. But if you like and have a good hankering for a chocolate fragrance, oh my God, chocolate with some ambery kind of benzoin-like tones on the dry down. Now I will tell you because this is harder to find, another fragrance that you can get on the designer end that's similar to this is Bulgari Man in Black. Kind of give you, uh, not as that one's not as chocolatey, but outside of the this heavy chocolatey nuance that you get from this fragrance, uh, Man in Black is kind of similar to this. So check it out from the House of By Killian. This is Noir Aphrodisiac. All right, guys, and the last fragrance in this category, very sexy fragrance right here. This fragrance brand does sexy really well. It's from the House of Initial Parfums, and this is called Atomic Rose. Atomic Rose, man, this is perfect. Perfect for a date night in a more casual environment. You have rose in here. Um, of course, you got that mysterious Hedion note in here. You have some Turkish rose, some Bulgarian rose. Um, and again, it's just a fantastic fragrance. It really, really uh, smells good. This is one of those fragrances that gets a lot of compliments when I wear it. Rose generally does well on my skin, but this one right here, because of that Hedion that's thrown in here, man, it's just, again, Date night approved, close encounter approved, compliment magnet approved. Again, it's from the House of Initial Parfums, and this one is called Atomic Rose. All right, guys, so let me show you really quickly what a good uh, outfit idea uh, would be to wear in a more casual date night setting. All right, guys, so for this last look, this casual look, of course, I'm going with loafers. These are brown loafers, suede loafers from Carlos Santos. One of the most versatile things you can have in your wardrobe, trust me. Um, went with a pair of jeans here uh, for this casual look. So I want to say something about the jeans, guys. When you are going to wear a pair of jeans and pair it with a blazer, you don't want to do, number one, baggy jeans. So you want to have either a slim or a straight fit jeans. And also not a whole lot of stuff going on on the jeans. Like no holes, no whiskers, and all, this, all these different embellishments. Just a nice pair of plain denim is perfect when you're going out. Of course, I have on a brown belt uh, to match my brown uh, watch, as well as the, of course, brown loafers. And here I am uh, using a blazer. I think this brand is called Talia, if I'm not mistaken. Threw in a nice uh, purple pocket square to uh, kind of pull out the color of the uh, turtleneck as well, well as the uh, purple embellishments in the blazer. Now guys, there is a big difference between a blazer, a sport coat, and a suit jacket. I see guys make the mistake all the time of just taking a jacket that pairs uh, with a pair of trousers, of course, from a suit, and throwing that on. You don't want to do a suit jacket, okay? And I can talk to you guys uh, at another time about why you don't want to do that. So make sure with this kind of look, it is a blazer or a sport coat, okay? Uh, but again, just a really nice... Um, like I said, sleek look. I'm telling you guys, the turtleneck is one of the easiest things that you can throw on. It just gives a very 
sexy, a very sophisticated look uh, when you're going on a date. And so uh, that's why I wanted to utilize a turtleneck in each of these looks, just to show you guys how to style them casually, smart casual, or of course, upscale. But all right, guys, that is it, man. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And I hope you enjoyed me mixing in, of course, uh, some, you know, some different looks, you know, to wear on a date. I hope that was really, really helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you leave it down in the comment section and let me know how much you enjoyed it, if you did. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to make sure you take a few moments out to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.